Hey there everyone, it's Darby River Ben Survival again. It's been quite a while since I've done a video. The reason is, is fairly simple. I've gone into a, we're not going to call it a new chapter, but we're going to, we're going to say there's been some fairly large changes to my outdoor life. Uh, and I'll explain that when we get past the beginning here. And that change has led to the subject matter of this video, which I am extremely happy and excited with. I'll be right back to explain both of them to you right after this. change to my outdoor life, we want to use that term, uh, I have been doing actually very little bushcrafting lately uh, for the last couple of months. That's why you haven't seen a lot of bushcrafting videos. I will continue to do them. Uh, it's an important part of my life personally, so I won't stop doing it. But what's happened recently is, is that uh, I've gotten more into the conventional backpacking. Uh, going out for days at a time with the big full-size backpack or what's a full-size backpack now. Um, one of the main reasons for that change is, is my daughter Claire that y'all seen on some of the videos. She loves to go camping and doing the backpacking camping. So it's an important time. Uh, that's the next generation of backpackers, the next generation of campers, the next generation of bushcrafters. Uh, she's pretty up to speed on bushcrafting. Now, having said that, I am not an expert backpacker in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you've seen from my videos, I've never even really owned a real backpack. Um, part of this decision process was made simple for me because uh, two years ago, I guess it was, yeah, two years ago, uh, at the spring meetup, I won a uh, backpack, a very nice Kelty backpack. And if you remember looking back through the videos, it used to hang right up here on this hook. It was always empty. Uh, I, I never used it because that was not my thing. I have since gotten into it and me and Claire have gone hiking just about every weekend for the last few months. Uh, we've gone on a couple of campouts, overnighters. Um, those of you who follow me on Facebook, uh, you've seen the pictures. I've, I've just taken a couple of simple pictures with my cell phone. Uh, I have not taken videos. The reason being is, is A, I'm not a, a great backpacker. I'm not someone that, that people that are just getting into it should uh, really pay attention to on the subject because I'm learning. Uh, but I'm kind of hard-headed. Uh, I don't watch a lot of other people's videos on the subject, so I'm kind of breaking my own rule and reinventing the wheel. I do watch some videos, uh, but then I'll, I automatically I don't try what they do on the vast majority of them I just look at it and go but I would rather do this and then I take off and a lot of those are hard lessons learned so I, I told myself that I wouldn't do any real backpacking videos for at least a year uh, the reason being I don't want somebody to follow my advice and then my advice be bad and I don't know it at that time having said that the people that know me know what I do for a living those of you that don't know me I'll tell you coffee is my living I'm a lead service tech for Starbucks on their espresso machines and coffee machines. I do uh, commercial espresso machines for restaurants and hotels, uh, commercial coffee machines. Uh, that's what I do for a living Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, however many days a week I work. <clears throat> um, so I'm kind of a coffee fanatic. Uh, ironically enough, I get free Starbucks. I don't, I don't drink it. It's too strong for me, but that's, that's a side note. Having said that, I've gone through a number of um, 
even back in the bushcrafting time, I, I keep trying to find a way to make coffee that I like. I just can't find it. Couldn't find it. I started watching other people at this last spring meetup. Um, Randy, he's got some cool things. I'll put a link to his channel down below of ways that he makes coffee, and it's good. Uh, Jack uh, Milholm, uh, I drink coffee with him just about every morning. Um, uh, Bill, yeah, I drank coffee with him in the mornings. I, and pretty much I had coffee at my own campsite, but me being the type of person that I am, I went around to other campsites and drank coffee with them uh, because I wanted to taste their coffee and see how they were making it for my own use in the bushcrafting side still back then. Well, now that I have the backpacking side, I have much more room. So, I'm going to readjust the camera down here just a little bit. You know what, I'm going to need to. I've got plenty of room here. I'm going to show you what I've come up with and built on. And it's the system that I'm using right now. Uh, and, uh, folks, I love it. So, we'll get started. I did a video. I'm pretty sure I did a video of when I got this GSI uh, Catalyst. I use it a lot, but not as much as I as I should. Uh, it has now become my primary cook kit. The other cook kits I still have them, but um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's two boxes right down there. Those bottom two boxes are full of nothing but camping cook sets. Uh, all different kinds. Uh, I have gone now almost exclusively to using the, the GSI Catalyst. Now then, for those of you that are not familiar with it, I'll break it apart here in just a second because it's part of the video. What I've added to this, besides what I already used to carry in it, which I'll show real quick here in a second, is I took an idea from Shane Coffee. Uh, I'll put a link to Shane's channel down below. And I told him a long time ago that I was going to do this. And I did it kind of, but now I've, I've, it's kind of morphed into to what, I, to what I was hoping for. And I love it. So he gets all the credit for this. What I've added is a Maxpedition bag. This is my coffee bag and my spice bag for cooking and such. I still would like to get one or two other little items for it, but as it is right now, this is what I'm using. The second piece that I've added to it is, and I'll get rid of the bag, it's just a storage bag, and you saw when I took it apart that all of this fits right into the bag, zips up, ties down, and I can carry my whole cook set with me by the handle, folds up and fits right in my backpack nice and small. But let me get this bag out of the way because it's not important for the video. So, what I've added here, let's not go with what I've added yet. Let's go over this real quick so it makes more sense as I do the setup. I'm inside so I'm not going to cook or make coffee right now. I actually have a cup of coffee over here. When I take the lid off of my set, I still use the expandable spork that came with the set. Uh, I don't have any problem with it. It'll break one day. When it does, I, I have a backup in here and I'll show you. Uh, but I have my expandable spork. I have my stove. And it's still got alcohol in it from the last trip. And the little holder for it. Of course, it comes with the... I call one a bowl and one a cup because it has the neoprene wrap around it so I can drink my coffee in it. It comes with a lid for either one, but it's always the lid for my coffee cup. I have a little scrunchy pad in here to clean the bowl with. I don't use it on the, the kettle, so I only boil water here, but to clean the bowl with. I have a windshield in here. Uh, and that's just made out of a dryer connector that I just broke the tabs off of, and I'll show you here real quick how this sets up. And then I have the catalyst. So, when I get to campsite and I'm ready to boil water for coffee or for mountain house meals or whatever the case may be, I set up my stove, get it going, put my pot on it, put the water in it, put the lid on it, and take my windshield and put it whichever direction I need it if I need it. So now my water's boiling. <clears throat> Let me slide this out of the way. So I'm trying to get it so y'all can see everything. Then I grab my kit. Inside here, let me say I'll plan on how I'm going to shoot a video instead of just doing it from the hip. 
Inside here is a little snack pack Ziploc bag that has sugars and creamers enough for all right now it's down to five cups of coffee in it for me. Let me turn it this way. I have a titanium spork in here in case this one ever breaks when it breaks. I have a titanium spork in here. I have crushed red peppers, salt, pepper, and garlic. Uh, they're just seasonings. That's all they are for stuff. On this side behind the pouch I have my coffee and this is enough for about 10 cups of coffee right here. Maybe a little more. Uh, and it just slides in this pack back here. On this side I have my coffee filters. Now, like I said, I got this idea from Shane. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, let's get into a couple little facts about it. This is a Maxpedition bag. Uh, I don't, as you know on my channel, I don't really recommend brand names or something unless I find something that works like I'm getting ready to. I've already said the GSI Catalyst. Uh, I just like that system. The Maxpedition bag I got, I got off of eBay, used for five, I think it was five dollars and then two dollars shipping. It's not a full price Maxpedition. Uh, the little key fop was cut off of it and somebody ripped part of the tag off. I just took it the rest of the way off. I did not pay full price for the Maxpedition. There's nothing wrong with Maxpedition, but those of you who watch my channel know I try to do stuff on the cheap. That leads to this next part. After watching how people made their coffee, uh, I started researching and researching and researching, and what I decided on that I was going to give a try is another product by GSI. This little pot, hold on one second, the box should still be here. cigarette ashes on it. This is called the GSI Collapsible Java Drip. Uh, here's the box that it came in when I, when I ordered it. Let me get this out here. It's really filthy. It was in the trash can. So, the way the Java Drip works is I've gotten the campsite. I've got my water boiling over here. I get the one that I call the coffee cup. I open this up, it comes with a lid, and the center piece just pops open. It's rubber. It's got a little outlet hole on the bottom and a little lock ring to stop it from sliding off all the way. Now, one of the nice things is, pretty much no matter what size cup you use, this is going to fit it. It fits these remarkably well. It's their own cup. So, I set this on top of my coffee cup. I get one of these filters out. Now, I imagine you could do pretty much anything you wanted to for filtering, uh, but this one, as you can see, fits perfect. Perfect, like it was made for it. This is from our local grocery store, the HEBs. It's called a number two cone filter. I don't know what they're for. Uh, some kind of home coffee machine or something. Uh, the important thing is not the brand, it's the size, it's the number two. The number four from what I saw in the grocery store is about twice as big. Uh, and for a dollar fifteen, I got forty of these. I can't beat that. I'm not going to try to hand make something when I can get them for pennies a piece. So, put my coffee in there, my coffee filter in there. Get out my bag, and what I'm actually using right now is a titanium spoon. My personal taste, one to one and a half of these spoons of coffee in here makes a good tasting cup of coffee for me. Now then, I put my coffee in here. The water is through boiling. I take it, I pour it in there, and I can watch it fill up in here because this piece here is see-through. It's probably not showing up on the camera, but I can, I can see the camera through it. I can see the lens. So, I pour it in there, and I pour it until, it's, until I have a cup of coffee. Take this off when I'm through with it. Throw this in the fire, throw this away pack it out in a Ziploc bag, which is also in here. 
uh, pack it out with my trash, however I want to do it. Um, put my lid on my coffee cup, add my sugar and creamer first, put my lid on my coffee cup, and I'm drinking nice hot drip coffee out in the woods. I love it. I have for many years, a bunch of you are going to remember, I use these. These are okay. They're not bad. They're not as good as drip. I just tried these on the last camping trip that me and Claire went on, threw it away. Uh, got about three drinks of coffee, could not stand the taste of it, threw it away. If you like these, you win, because these are so small and light and cheap. If, if you like these, you win. Uh, I just don't like them. So, because I've changed what I'm doing now, for the most part with the camping, um, I changed how I make my coffee, and I'm so happy with it. Real quick before I let you go, uh, there will still be videos coming out on other subjects, but and I may even do some camping videos on the on the backpacking trips with me and Claire, uh, but I'm not going to put them out as hey this is what you need to do or or whatever because I, until I get the confidence up on this kind of camping, uh, we'll just keep it to myself for now how many mistakes I make. So when I got to pack this away, heat shield goes in. There's a gap in there where the heat shield expands out. I just set the, the scrubby pad in there. I take the lid off the coffee cup, set it in the bottom, stack my cups, put my stove in there, collapse the spoon, spork, put the lid on it, rinse this out, close it up, Snap it closed, stack them on top of each other just like this, put them back in the bag, pack it up, Bominos, I'm gone. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you liked the idea that I had here. Um, I don't know if it's original, to tell you the truth. Uh, I haven't seen it anywhere else, but uh, marrying these two pieces, I've got I've to assume that GSI made this to go with this. Uh, I, I just have to assume that because everything is such a, a perfect fit. Uh, if they did do that, then they should advertise it better. Um, or maybe I just missed the advertisement for it. But for me, this is a no-brainer. No coffee press, no instant coffee, uh, no coffee grinders, no none of, none of that stuff that goes along with it. Uh, and it's using an existing coffee set or an existing cook set and it's really taking up no more room in my bag. Uh, I mean, this thing's only like, I don't know, half an inch thick maybe. That's all it's taking up in my bag. Hope you liked it. Hope to see you out on the trail. Remember, get out in the dirt and have some fun. Thanks.